Shell made an all glass house in Bloxburg, so we're gonna give it a go. But hey, y'all, and let's just get right into it. So we're gonna head on over to a build mode and we are gonna be making a house with just glass. And you might be wondering, how do we do this? I actually have no clue. I didn't really watch the video. I just saw the title and I was like, oh, that sounds fun. So we're gonna give it a go and we're gonna be learning on the way. Okay, so the first thing is that we can use basic shapes because there are transparent cubes now. So we can do these for like the walls and stuff. So we're gonna, we're gonna use that. You know, like there's just so many different ways you can. So this is one of the ways that I will be using it. But before we go too far with it, I really wanna see how the roof lines up with it because I do want to add a roof. Okay, it's a little too tall. It's too tall. Let me go ahead and make it shorter. So we're just gonna make it a little bit shorter like that. And there we have it. So we have our first wall over here. And I don't want to make it too big. So we're just gonna do it like that. Maybe add a room over here for the bedroom. Now the tricky part are the doors. And with the doors, I do need to add a wall just so I can add a door. But we will be adding like the glass doors. Okay, so let's go to doors and see which one has the most glass to it this is like fully glass oh that's a tall frame okay we could use frame but i think we're gonna go with the pivot doors just because they are fully glass and these giant ones take up the whole area anyways so i mean it worked the door over here might not work actually we'll just make it a double door to make it easier so let's just do that copy and paste there we go and oh my gosh i just realized adding a shower in this house would be uh, interesting okay and while we're at it let's go ahead and add ourselves the roof and we have to add the pyramid glass roof because again it is a glass house and there we go oh my gosh it looks so weird ew i don't like it i don't like it at all it looks like a greenhouse okay next up are the floors oh yeah, there's no room so i'm gonna have to add my own okay so we have the floors down i colored a little bit i think we're gonna go with a i don't really know the theme actually let's just let's just start with like the furniture i think i'm gonna go ahead and add a kitchen first so we're gonna add a kitchen on this side. Also, these are not walls, so I need to like line things up, which is really annoying. Okay, I went ahead and added a um a kitchen and I went with black and white just because all the glass reminds me of modern stuff. So we're gonna make a modern-ish type of house. So that's what we're gonna go with. Anyways, I'm gonna add a little counter in, not the counter. Uh, what's that thing called? An island? Yes, yeah, so we're gonna make an island over here um, real quick. Okay, so there we go. I have a little counter. I added some marble to it to give it some texture. Um, we have some cute little stools. And then on this side over here, we're gonna add our living room. Again, we can't really add a TV to the wall, so we're gonna have to add a Dan, which I really don't use, but you know, it's okay. And I think I'm gonna use the modern uh, hairpin stuff because it's modern and it's cute. Why not? And of course, we gotta get that biggest tv ever okay we just must so we got that it looks so weird on that small little tv stand though it, it looks so odd you know what why not add a sleek coffee table i don't really use that you know and then let's go get a sofa up in here um we're just gonna get these okay so we have a strange and usual looking living room i don't even know and uh, let's go and add some plants as well some luxurious plants why not i went ahead and added added i went ahead and added a couple more uh, plants as well um, and let's go to the bedroom over here. So we're gonna add a bed on the side over here. And then I just realized that I don't have enough room for a bathroom. So I might have to make a bathroom after this. But before that, I can add my desk and things like that. So I'm gonna add a desk on this side. I feel like the thing with this is that it's just so empty because I can't really add anything on the walls. Uh, but I, you know, I'm just adding some plants everywhere. It makes it a little bit more fuller. Okay, so we have a bedroom as well. And I think the last thing we need to add is the bathroom. So we're gonna expand the house a little bit uh, by buying, not buying, by adding a bathroom to this little area right here. But that means I do need to knock out the this door, um, this wall, technically. Actually, I didn't need to knock it out. I just need to make it smaller. So let me do that real quick. Let me just make them. Let me do a one by one. Okay. And then, oh, but I can't add the double door then. Okay. Wait, we're going to add the double door just because it is, it looks a lot better. Okay. And there we have it. So we have a nice, uh, another pivot door there. Flooring. And over here, we're going to add a tub just because I can and why not add a tub? Also, I feel like a tub would be more privacy just because you're like submerged in water rather than standing up in a stand-up shower just being naked the whole time, you know what I mean? So for privacy reasons, I would rather want a tub, okay? And then we're gonna get ourselves a nice little sink over here. And I'm actually gonna add the uh, the toilet on this side just because I have some privacy, you know? No one will, this front part will see me, but you know what? The sides are blocked off by a sink 
and my plants and I feel a little bit more safe there so that's the reasoning behind why I chose that area for that we're gonna add a little mat as well right here now we do have to add uh another roof so let's do that real quick we're wasting so much money but it's okay i wonder how much this is actually i don't know i don't think it's that much money but there it is i mean oh my god it looks so weird what the heck it i'm not gonna lie if this was surrounded by trees i wouldn't mind living here i really wouldn't if it was surrounded by trees like in the middle of nowhere it would be pretty nice like can you i mean it would be scary but imagine if there were blinds at night that would like close it off i don't know i think it would be fun but let's go ahead and take a tour of the glass house over here so let's head on inside we have a nice little pivot door i mean i don't know it just looks so like open like it's such a small house but it feels so open, which is so weird. Um, but we have our living room over here. We have our giant kitchen. Then we go over here. I feel like I would bump into the walls a lot. Like, oh my gosh, that's the door. No, it's not. And then we have that. Is this open? Oh no, it's not open. Guys, look, I, I feel like things are open as well. And then we have a bathroom over here. Like, it just feels so, like, open. Like, I don't know. It just, like, it feels so nice to be in here. I don't know. It just feels so big. Like, you guys go ahead and make our, yourselves a glass house because this is an interesting feeling when you're inside, okay? But let's see how much it is. It's only $61,000. And we're also gonna rename it to a glass house. Not gonna lie, not as expensive as I thought it was gonna be. Um, But yeah, that was super fun. I actually really enjoyed doing this and it's not too shabby not gonna lie so anyways let me know what you guys think about this would you guys live in it would you guys i don't know like it or is there not enough privacy let me know down in the comments below but if you guys did enjoy this video leave a like subscribe do all that jazz and i will see you guys later with another one bye